Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me today. So we are currently in Ojai, California, and we are loving it. The place we're currently staying has no blender or food processor, and I thought it'd be a, a great opportunity to show you a lovely and super quick recipe that needs no kitchen equipment except for a knife. This is my raw vegan sushi recipe. It's a super quick one and it's a real regular go-to of mine. So we start with nori sheets. These are seaweed, nori seaweed sheets. Make sure when you buy these that they're unsalted. Many brands are now selling nori sheets but have added oils and salts. This is just straight up nori sheets. Nori seaweed is a great source of vitamin K as well as omega-3 fatty acids. I also love seaweeds because they're high in iodine which is crucial for proper thyroid function. Red bell peppers I love incorporating regularly. First of all, they're just juicy, and so they're wonderful water-rich food. And they are also very high in vitamin C, as well as vitamin A. And vitamin A, as some of you might know, is incredibly helpful for good vision. I also love, in this recipe, incorporating alfalfa sprouts. Alfalfa sprouts are high in phytoestrogens and phytoestrogens really help with regulating positively the estrogen hormone in our bodies and that can help with mitigating a lot of hormonal imbalance that I can see that I see in several women with whom I work. Alfalfa sprouts, sprouts in general, also boost the vitamin C content. I have a video on my channel all about sprouting so you can take a look at that video for more about how to sprout at home. I love red onions. They're a great prebiotic source, so I include them a couple of times a week when I'm making recipes at home. Avocados, they are amazing here in Ojai. They're a very local, these were picked from a friend's tree, and they are a wonderful source of healthy monounsaturated fats. Cilantro, Mm, my mom just eats cilantro by itself in the morning. That's how much our family loves it. Cilantro, apart from being loaded with vitamins and minerals, is a fantastic detoxifier of heavy metals in one system. So I often incorporate it in my meals. So let's get started. Um, I am here peeling my avocado. I like to do a peeling method these days with avocado because a lot of the phytonutrients are concentrated just below the skin of the avocado. And several times, the way people often open avocados, they may miss getting some of that really good nutrient-packed part of the avocado. If you scrape it also from the inside of the skin of the avocado, you'll also be able to get this good stuff. Avocados have more folate and potassium per ounce than any other fruit, and they're also high in fiber. So just a few more reasons to incorporate avocados in a healthy amount in your meals. Here is the sauce I'm using. So usually I really like making my own sauce, and I usually recommend that if you have the time and you have a blender, um, blenders can make wonderful sauces check out some of my other recipe videos for those for recipes for that but this one we just picked up in a local market that has really good quality things this is a raw vegan dip that's garlic based and so i'm going to use this as part of the sauce for my sushi i like to put the sauce on first because I enjoy the different textures of sushi, and I don't like a dry sushi roll. I like it to have some creaminess from the avocado and some of the other crunchy ingredients, and then a little bit of the sauce, I think, takes it to the next level. So I put the sauce on first, and then I'm now adding on the sprouts and the other vegetables on top, and that will kind of stick to the sauce. Once I pile on my goodies, I then tuck and roll. So I roll the nori and then I tuck in the vegetables and then keep rolling. Do this until everything is nice and tightly rolled. And at the end of this, I then add an extra dollop of sauce to help seal the roll and for a little bit of added flavor. 
So I'm now cutting the roll and my knife was terrible. It's really important to have a sharp knife for this as well as doing a sawing motion as opposed to trying to cut in to the sushi roll. So these sushi rolls do not look the best, but they were still delicious. And so here's the taste test. Okay. So here's one of the sushi rolls cut open now. And you don't have to cut it. I cut it, but you don't have to cut it. Just to show you a pretty example. Colorful, vibrant. Let's give it a taste. Super good. Mm. You can put a little bit more of the dip that you create for yourself or that you buy that you feel is really good. I think for the next one, I'm going to put a little bit more dip. I think having a little bit of something um, saucy really helps to bind all the textures together and give a little bit more punch of flavor. And here's the finished product. Without filming the filming stuff, it literally took less than 10 minutes to make this entire meal, including the cutting and vegetable prep. Plus, it was super delicious. So please give this recipe a try for a quick and nutrient-packed as well as an incredibly yummy option for a meal. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And share the video and recipe with anyone who you think would love it. Subscribe if you'd like more videos like this. And I just want to say thank you all for the support and love I feel. I read all your comments and I really am touched by so much of them. So thank you. And I'm sending you so much love, currently from Ojai. And bon appétit.